Hey guys, I'm gonna show you real fast how to save your work under Esby and submit it. I keep getting a few questions. We've made about four Zooms now that shows you how to go through Esby and find your work and figure out what your work is and so forth. So the first thing we're gonna do is show you how to find your work. You log into, <coughs> excuse me, log into Esby, find your class. In this case, it's my daughter, so I'm using hers as an example. So I'm gonna scroll down through here. I'm in Patrick's Avid, seventh period, seventh grade. And these are all the different Zoom assignments we've been working through. These are example Avid assignments. And then this is example pieces for our Wicker that you could use to help you. The first thing you have when you click on them is you will actually see an actual Word document and the Word document shows your journal. This right here, you're to do one a day and then you save them into your files and then they are due on Friday. So you submit one file on Fridays of this right here. And this is not your schedule. This just tells me what time do you get up, what time do you eat your breakfast, what do you need to do for breakfast, that kind of thing. And that goes like that throughout your day. At the bottom down here, you can insert a text box. You would go up here to file and then you would hit the word insert. And then you would go over here to text box and you can insert a text box. A simple text box will work just fine. And then I don't want that text box there, but I actually do want it to be down here. Okay? And then you would actually insert your text box through here. So you can actually put it here if you want to, wherever you want, you just put little text boxes and draw them out through here. And you can type down what is your goal that day for school, what is your personal goal down here. And then the last part, some of you are forgetting this one, daily reflection, write four or five sentences about your day. What went well, what can you do better, what questions do you have? Make sure you use capitals and periods and correct spelling and write neatly. Now this is for sixth, seventh, and eighth. Each grade level has these to do daily for right now and have it, okay? You can also file, save as, each time you save it, save it as a different name to make sure that you don't use the same one over and over again and you still have your template. The second thing you will see on your ESB if you are seventh or eighth grade is gonna be this. Okay, this right here is your Avid Remote Learning. This one is under your ESB as the remote learning example. You can choose to do it on blank paper and keep track of it like a journal by the day or you can actually keep this as a living document which is where you just add to it throughout the week and then you save as and you submit it on Friday. So on Monday, your poem that you wrote would go here. On Tuesday, you went and did ACT or SAT practice. And again, for the SAT practice, that was pretty simple. What you had to do is you went to this site right here, okay, the SAT practice power score. You chose your test number one and you chose test number one. It gives you 10 questions. You can choose any passage and each passage has 10 different questions that go along with that passage. Choose your passage that you want to investigate more and you write your answers on that Microsoft Word document here that I just showed you. Okay, so your answers are here. Beneath the other document that I just had up is your test. Here are your answer keys and the explanations of how that is the correct answer. You go back to your Word document and you have written down all of your answers through here and you're going to correct your answers and write your overall percentage over here, okay? Wednesday, today for sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade, we actually did video conferencing. We set up um, our Zooms through breakout sessions. We practice breakout sessions like tutorials. So you would actually take down your partner's name. What was their point of confusion? How were you able to help them? And you explain that over here. If you did not participate in today's Zoom, just call up a friend, talk about what's going on so far with your e-learning, what you need help in, and how can they help you and you help each other. And that conversation goes for about 10 minutes. And you write down your notes through here on this page. On Thursday, this is where you write down your daily schedule. When do you typically do reading? What time do you do writing? We do language arts and so forth, okay? This is your schedule of your normal day. This is not the same thing as your daily journal. Your daily journal is just what are you doing throughout the day overall. This is your school schedule here. On Friday, you're going to go to this website, onlinestory.net, and you're going to choose a story that looks interesting to you, one that you want to read about, and you're going to write a gist, which is a very short story, just kind of describing the story, the main idea of it, what was the takeaway from it, what was the gist of it, literally. Okay, now when you're finished, you want to save your work. So you go to File, you go to Save As, and you're going to save everything in your OneDrive, always in that OneDrive here, okay? Click on your OneDrive and you will see a bunch of different folders that will pop up, okay? Left-hand side here, here's your OneDrive, okay? If you right-click your mouse in your OneDrive, it allows you to create new folders. Now you have to remember, whatever it is you're clicking on, the folder goes into that. 
So I clicked on this one right here. I want a new folder and we'll take that, okay? And my OneDrive, I made one called Avid. Here's my Avid folder. Now in Avid, I click on Avid again and make two more folders. The first one's my Spring eLearning. I made that in my Avid folder. Click on my Spring eLearning folder, make another folder inside of that. And I have done that. That's week one, it's due April 3rd. So I double click on this and you'll see some of the work we've been working on this week so far in our Zooms. And then if I wanna highlight everything, I hit Shift and I hit the up arrow key. If I want to just choose certain assignments, I pick and choose by using my control key. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna call this one Isabella Weekly number two, my second attempt at doing this this time. And now my file is completely saved in here. Okay, now when you upload things onto Etsy, this is the other biggest issue we've been having this week. And I wanna make sure we all understand how to upload our work onto Etsy. So then you go back to your Etsy page right here. You find your class, which you're in, go to my work right here, click on my work. It opens up your entire assessment page here. Here's assessments, all the work that is due. This right here is one graded for last week. That's the one you should have submitted by Friday. That was two of the daily journals as practice. And then for this week, we have two due on the third. If you are sixth, seventh, and eighth, you have your avid weekly journal due. If you are seventh and eighth, you also have the daily wicker days assignments that are due. Both assignments are due on Friday. If you save these as living documents, which means they're documents you add to every day, and on Friday you finish it up and you submit it at once, you're submitting two documents. If you save these daily with different names, you might be submitting up to 10 documents. It just depends how you save them. And then what you'll do is I'm gonna actually use my daughter's one on this page so I don't mess her up for this week because I've kind of made last week a little messy for her. So I'm gonna hit the resubmit because I already submitted things as examples to show last week and I can't get them off of there now. So I'm gonna submit things over top of that. So you see these two buttons down here. You see a camera where you can hold it up and take a picture or you have the files. Now you've been saving things to your computer in your OneDrive. So we're double clicking on the browse your computer and that pulls it up. Oh, look, there we are again. Back to the OneDrive, back to the Avid folder, back to our spring e-learning folder that we already just made. Here's my week one, due April 3rd. And I highlight, again, if I, wanna ha if I want to submit everything, I hold my shift button down in the arrow key and that allows you to highlight everything. If I only wanna highlight a couple things in that folder, not everything, I hit my control button down on my keyboard and with my mouse, I click which ones I actually want to have submitted. So this allows me the choice of choosing what it is I wanna submit, okay? And then I hit open and you will see those pieces of work will be now submitted into my SVE Learning for Friday submissions, okay? And then I just write down here in this blank what it is I'm submitting and why, and then I hit submit or resubmit if you've already had the boo-boo and made a mistake and submitted work in the wrong spot, okay? As long as you hit the submit part down here, you are good to go. And that is actually it for how to save our work and how to submit our work under Etsy, how to create files in Etsy, and what your homework is for this week. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you on Friday Zoom. Bye-bye.